Hi, everyone. Welcome to Dumbbell Strength. My name is Amber Langford. I'm going to be running you through your workout today. For this 45-minute workout, we are going to do a 4-3-2-1 workout. What that entails, we are going to start with four exercises that are multi-muscle group, more compound exercises. We'll do three rounds. Then we'll move on to three exercises that are more for isolation. So we're going to be isolating a muscle group. Then we'll move on to two core exercises. And lastly, we're going to end with one higher intensity exercise that's meant to get our heart rate up a little bit. All you'll need today is some dumbbells, yoga mat if you have it, and your water. Go ahead and start your fitness watches if you have it. Let's see. I'm putting mine to traditional strength training. Let's start with our warm up. For today, we're going to crisscross our arms, going in and opening, alternating that top arm. And let's move into diagonal, so opening and closing. One more each side. And let's move to knee hugs. So we're gonna grab top of our knee, pulling that knee up to our chest, stretching out those glutes, opening up that hip flexor on the other side. Pulling that knee as close to your chest as you can. And let's do one more each side. Next, we're going into our sumo stance, feet turned out, legs are going to be wider than your shoulders. We're going to reach down to the floor. Once we got as far as we can, we're going to bend those knees and then scoot those arms up and around. Let's do five. Getting as deep into that squat as you can. Last one here. Good. All right. So for our first thing, we're doing four compound exercises. <clears throat> I will demonstrate exercise number one. We'll perform it and then we'll move on. We are going to do three rounds of these four exercises. So for rounds two and three, we'll move a little bit quicker. Exercise number one, we are doing a squat thruster. So we're going to start with those dumbbells up right on our shoulders. I go light to medium weight for these ones. Feet are going to be shoulder width apart. We're going to squat down, push up, extend those arms overhead, sinking right back down. We are still keeping that back nice and flat, sinking down those hips, using those glutes to help push us up using that momentum to press our arms overhead. We are going to do 12 reps of these. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Let's work, sinking low, pushing up tall. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, halfway, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, last one, 12. Good job, next exercise. We're moving to the ground. I'm gonna be using the same weight for all four of these exercises. For guidelines, I would go anywhere, again, between light and medium. We're not really gonna be doing heavy weights today just because these movements are multi-joint, a little more complicated. So our next exercise, I'm going to perform this from my knees. If you are more advanced, you can also do these from your toes. What we're doing is we're going to start with a renegade row. So we're going to drive one elbow up, shoulder blade moves to our spine, other elbow drives up, shoulder blade moves to our spine. Once we've done that, we're going to end with a push up, coming all the way back up to the top, elbows are staying close to our sides for all these exercises. Holding up plank position. So it's row, row, 
push up. That's one. We're doing 10 reps here. Like I said, you're more than welcome to add an incline on your toes or from your knees like I am. We're starting in three, two, one. Row up, side one, side two. And with that push up, that's one. Hold that plank position. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, we're over halfway. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. And ten. Woo! Good job. Next exercise, we are going to be standing up again. I'm using the same weight. We are going to get into a split stance here. Hips are going to be nice and square. We're going to sink down to that lunge position. Coming up tall, we're doing a bicep curl. We're doing that hammer curl. Here is that side view, so we're doing a split squat. Sinking down to that lunge. Up and curl. Doing your best not to swing those arms up. If lunges do not feel good for you, you can feel free to just do a squat and curl. Your choice, we are going to do eight reps on each side, 16 curls in total. I'm gonna start with my right leg in front. In three, two, one, let's work, sinking down, coming up and curl, that's one. Two, three, four, five, Seven, last one on this side, and eight. Switch in sides if you're doing that split squat, and sinking down, up, and curl. Two, three, four, five, six, almost there. Seven, and eight. Woo! Shake it out, we're moving back down to the ground. This time, we are gonna be laying on our back. We're gonna start with our hands pointing up to the ceiling. Palms are facing each other. We are going to do a glute bridge, so we're bridging up. From here, we're gonna open up. Soft elbows, tapping those arms down, pulling them back up and lower that is one loop bridge up we're doing a test fly come up to the top in that test fly we're making sure we have those soft rounded elbows our wrists are staying even with our shoulders so we're coming right back up 10 reps starting in three two one bridge and up open Close and down. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one, and 10. Woo. Good job. Go ahead and give yourself a little breather. Shake it out, get some water if you need it. That was round one. We have two more rounds to go, those four exercises. So, Pick up those weights. We're starting with our squat to overhead press. Feet shoulder width apart. We're starting in three, two, one. Let's work. Sink it down. Use that momentum to push those arms up. Three. We're doing 12. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Way to work. Moving down to the ground. We're doing that renegade row, side one, two, and push up. We have 10 reps of these. I'm still gonna do these from my knees. Starting in three, two, one. Get in your plank position, let's work. Row up, one, and push up. Two, three, four, five, six, we are over halfway, seven, eight, last two, nine, and 10. Good job, stand it up. We are moving on to our split squat to curl. Like I said before, you can feel free to do squat and then curl as well. I'm starting on that right leg in three, two, one. Sinking down, coming up, hammer curl. Two, we're doing eight. Three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Switch inside. Left leg in front, sink it down, coming up, and curl. Two, three, Four, hope you're feeling that burn. Five, six, two more. Seven, and eight. Woo, all right. Let's get back down the ground. Last exercise for this round is our glute bridge to chest fly. If that glute bridge is bothering your low back, and we're having a hard time to get core engaged, you can feel free to just lay here and only do the flies. Starting in three, two, one. I'm going to bridge up, open, and down. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Woo. Good job. Take those arms out. A little mini breather, grab some water. That was round two. Last round, let's give it our all here. Starting with those squats, overhead press, 12 reps. We're gonna work in three, two, one, squat and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last two. And well, good job. Moving on to our rows, two push-ups. Open up my chest really quick, get that good stretch. All right, 10 reps. Last one of these, here we go. Starting in three, two, one, row up, and push up. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, last one here, and 10. Woo. All right, two more exercises. We got this. Start again, three, two, one, sinking down, split squat, and curl. Two, three, four, five, six, two more on this side, seven, and eight. Switching legs, left leg in front, going down, and up one, two, three, four, five, three more, six, seven, and eight. Woo. All right, last exercise for this group of four. Laying down, feet planted, starting in three, two, one, bridge up, that's fly, and repeat, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last two, nine, and ten. Up, set those weights down, grab your water. All right, for our next exercise, we have three exercises. We'll be doing them for three rounds. We're gonna be isolating a muscle group. For this first exercise, I'm going lighter weight because we're gonna be working our triceps. Our triceps aren't super large, so we don't have as much power and strength in them. What we're gonna be doing is a tricep kickback. So we're going to bend at the waist. We're gonna bring both elbows up to our sides, shoulders pulling away from your ears. Shoulder blades are squeezing together. This is our starting and ending position. All we're doing is straightening those arms and bending them back. Keeping this nice and controlled. We are going to do 12, and then we'll move on to the next exercise. All right, starting in three, two, one, elbows up, let's straighten and return. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last two, and wow, Woo. good job. Set those weights down. We're gonna be on the ground next. Next, we're gonna be isolating that hamstring glute area. And we are going to do a donkey kick. But if you feel confident, if you feel comfortable, we're gonna add a weight to this donkey kick. So we're gonna put that weight in that crease of our knee, so we're gonna be Curling that leg up a little bit. So we have a grip on that weight. I'm using a light to medium weight here. It's about eight pounds. And what we're gonna be doing here is we're going to have shoulders stack over wrists, hips stack over those knees, and we're gonna take that leg that has the weight and we're just going to curl up and down. We're doing 12 here. We have to keep that knee nice and bent. Otherwise that weight will roll out. You are more and welcome to do this without any weight. But if you want to add the challenge, I suggest sticking that weight in that crease between your knee and your calf. All right, side one, 12 reps. Here we go, in three, two, one, let's work. Try to put that heel to the ceiling. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost there, eleven, and twelve. Good job. Set those weights down. We are going to move into those donkey kicks again. So we're going to sink to the ground. If we're using weight, put that weight in. We're going to start in three, two, one. Let's work. Lift up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good job, switching sides. Getting that weight in the comfortable position. <coughs> Starting in three, two, one. Let's work, lift up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, last one, and 12. Good job. Go ahead and move that weight off of you. Next one, we're gonna end with our forward raises. Last exercise for this set. Here we go. And three, two, one, let's work. 10 lifts. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and done. Good job. Go ahead and set those weights down. Grab your drink of water. Our next set is two exercises, and we're gonna be working on that core. Don't worry, we're not forgetting about those dumbbells yet, though. We will be using the dumbbells for both of these exercises. For our first exercise, we're gonna be doing a plank dumbbell pull through. So, for this exercise, I'm going to demonstrate on my feet. You can also do this from your knees as well. So we're gonna start with shoulders stacked over our wrist. We're gonna have one dumbbell directly behind one of our wrists. Mine is behind my right wrist. Popping up to those toes, holding that plank. We're gonna reach with one side and pull that weight over to the other side. We're just pulling back and forth. We are going to do eight reps each side. If you need to, you can do the same thing here from your knees and just pull and pull. Your choice. You're starting in three, two, one, and up. Pulling that way over, side one. And two. Three. Four. Stay and tall. Six, almost done. Seven. Last one. And eight. Good job. We are gonna be flipping over to our back. I'm using the same weight here. This can also be done without any weight as well. But we're gonna be laying on our back. We're gonna be holding on to that dumbbell, pointing that weight straight up to the ceiling. We're gonna lift our legs up in this tabletop position, knees bent, and we're just going to lower one leg, tap that heel, bring it up, switching sides. Our back is staying pressed into that ground, so I shouldn't be able to move my fingers in that crease there. If you need to, you can do this without any weight, or you can put your hands off to the sides here. We're going to do 10 reps each side. 
Starting in three, two, one. Let's work back, stay flat. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one, each side. And 10. Good job. Rolling on up, that was round one. We still have two more rounds of this one. All right, grab your drink of water if you need it. Otherwise, get ready. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, and up. Let's move, one, two, three, Four, we're halfway. Five. Six. Seven, last one. And eight. Woo! Make sure you are breathing throughout all of these core exercises. Your breath work is very important. All right, flip it over to your back. Arms up. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Lift those legs up. Send in one leg out and up. Two. Three, make sure your back is flat on the ground. Four. Five. Six. Good, almost there. One more each side. And done. Go ahead and relax out of that. Grab your drink of water if you need it. All right. One last round here. And then we're ending with a high intensity exercise and then get our heart rate up. All right. Round three, here we go. We're gonna start in five, four, three, one, and up. Let's work, pull in one. And two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job, everyone. We have one last exercise of this set. All right, let's get ready. Lay it on your back. Arms up. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Let's work. Back face flat. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, last one, and 10. Woo, good job. Go ahead and roll on up to a stand. Grab your drink of water. I'm going to demonstrate that last exercise we are doing today. For this last exercise, we are still going to do three rounds. What we're gonna be doing is a 
top. So we're still gonna be using our dumbbell. Your choice on how you wanna hold it, you can hold it on one hand on both ends. You can also hold it with a alternating grip here. So we're gonna start feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna bend at that weight. I'm gonna start with that weight, shift it over so it's close to my right knee. And I'm gonna move my arms up, going up in that left diagonal, up toward the ceiling, and back down. We'll be moving fast, so we're going to go quick up and down. We are going to do 10 in that direction, and then we'll switch with that weight starting on that left side, moving up in that right diagonal, chopping motion. We get slight rotation through those hips as those arms move up, and then they square up when we come back down. 10 in each direction, starting with that weight on that right leg. And three, two, one, let's work. Arm swing up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Arms are straight. Last two. And ten. Mini break. Shift into the left. And three, two, one, and up. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Give yourself a little mini breather. Shake those arms out. While we're doing this exercise, I want to make sure when we're bent over, our back is still staying nice and flat, so our core is still engaged here. All right. Grab your water if you need it. Otherwise, go into round two in five seconds. Grab those weights. Feet should be shoulder width apart. Starting in three, two, one. Bend at the waist and move it up towards the left. Three, four, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Switch inside. In three, two, one. Let's work. Going up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Set that weight down. Shake those arms out. Grab your water if you need it. Good, good, good. All right. We just have one last round here. And then we're going to end with a good stretch. We did a lot today. A lot of movement. All right. Grab those weights. Get ready to move. In three, two, one. Let's work. Arm will go up. One, two, three, four, seven, nine, and ten. Switching sides in three, two, one. Let's work up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo. Good job, everyone. We are going to move into our stretches next. So, for those stretches, of course, we're going to start with opening up that chest. We did quite a bit of chest and bicep here today. So we're going to start. Hands are going to be forward, fingers together. I want you to peel those fingers away from each other. Bringing those arms back as far as you can. Shoulder those blades, squeeze. And then bringing them back around 
We're in two, three here. Peeling those fingers away, keeping those wrists flexed. And open as far as you can. Last one, open. Good, and close. Next, I want us to lace those fingers. Widen that stance. I want to bring arms up tall to the ceiling. And then we're gonna bend one elbow behind our head, using that other arm to pull that elbow closer to the back of our head. Good, and switching sides. Other arm is pulled behind that head. And release those arms. We're gonna stretch those hip flexors out a little bit. So if you have a wall, you can brace your hands on the wall. Otherwise, you can do this freestanding. Taking that left leg, stepping back into that lunge. Chest is gonna be up, and we're going to sink our hips forward, keeping that back heel on the ground. I want you to still actively press that heel in there because we're gonna open up through our hips. If you want more of a core stretch as well, keeping that chest a little more upright, light arch, lengthening through that spine. Go ahead and bend that back knee down, still trying to reach that heel to the ground. And coming up, switching sides. Stepping back with that right leg, sinking those hips forward. Right leg stays nice and straight, sending that heel into the ground. Making sure we're taking deep breaths here. Really focusing on that recovery. Go ahead and bend that knee. Still sending that heel into the ground. Good, coming up out of that. We're gonna stretch those inner thighs and get some rotation. So wide stance, feet out. Bend those knees, resting those hands right on top of your thighs, close to your knees. We're actively pressing our hands so our knees are going out. Getting some good external hip openers here. And drop your right shoulder, turning to the left. And switching sides, dropping that left shoulder, turning to the right. Bring those shoulders back to center. Turn those feet forward, straighten those legs, and reach down to the ground. One more deep breath here. Go ahead and walk your feet in and slowly roll on up. One vertebrae at a time. Your head is the last thing to come up. Good, roll those shoulders out, shake it out. Great work today, everybody. This was our dumbbell strength. We did a lot of hard exercises. This was not an easy class. Thank you for joining me. I hope you got a good workout in. I hope to see you next week.